What is going on everyone? My name is Dirty Dalton and today I am playing Condemned Criminal Origins. Now if this is the game I think it is, I played it a long time ago. So it was released in 2005 for Xbox and 2006 for Windows. Uh, I'll find out if it's the same game or not because if I have to fight a bear in a cabin and it's really scary, then it's the same game. Uh, so, so I'll find out, but, uh, yeah, other than that, let's get started. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Body's this way. How do you like those awesome graphics? Too old for this. <laughs> you yeah, the, the game is a little bit old, so... Oh, how do I do that? Thomas, there's nothing outside. The body's in the building. Okay. E. Come on, let's go. Body's rocking as we speak. The patrolman on duty said there was a mannequin involved, just like the matchmaker. Old damn city's crawling with sick killers. Why do they always have to kill in such maggot-infested dumps? Why can't they pick a nice spot without addicts and gang members for once? Some place not so damn dark. Jesus H. Nearly shot the bastard. <sighs> Come on, this place is creeping me out. It's a big rat. Your stupid car broke my light. Better turn yours on. I hear you're afraid of the dark. I mean, that's pretty reasonable in a place where people get murdered to be afraid of the dark. One fourteen. One fourteen. Report in. Have the feds arrived? Becker here. FBI on the scene. Over and out. Copy that. Agent Thomas, this is Officer Becker. Becker found the body on patrol. Agent? Wait, hold on. Let me see if I can figure out how to turn my flashlight on. You don't say. <laughs> F for flashlight. Who would have figured that out? Not me. Alright, so. Boom. Ooh. Nice and creepy. Jeez, you sick bastard. Thomas. Hello, Thomas. This is Lieutenant Rosa. I'm your lab tech again on this one. Our wireless data transfer system enables you to investigate and collect evidence at the scene of the crime and transmit it to me for analysis. When I have results, I'll contact you via your cell phone. 
All right, let's get to work. Let's start by determining the cause of death. When your instincts tell you evidence is nearby, prepare a forensic tool. The system will select the correct tool for you, so don't worry about that. Alright, T. Use the UV light on the corpse and find the trauma point. It'll glow a bright purple. I found it! It's on the neck. Use forward and backward to zoom until display. Is that good? Just a sec. Hmm. Strangled by hand. Very forceful. Finger marks clear, except bruise intensity indicates the killer's right-handed and missing the index finger on that hand. There must be something more. Something we're not seeing. <sighs> He got all that just from a strangulation mark. Run the laser light over the crime scene, and if there's evidence, it will show up a bright green. Hey, Becca, get the lights. The agent's laser works better in the dark. I know you don't. You don't have to turn the lights off. You really don't. Chase evidence glows a bright green. Well, that's on the sky's face. Okay. Exact same MO as the others? It's the work of a guy we've been calling the matchmaker. Kills young women violently, poses them in grisly tableau with male department store mannequins. Mannequin always slightly disfigured by a mark on the face. Hmm. Any luck on the mug book searches? I bet the killer has the same mark. No luck so far. All right. Becker, no smoking at a crime scene. I don't smoke. Well, someone was. <clears throat> it's coming from in here. Oh, that's great. The killer's in here with us. Well, I wonder it. what I could go smell wrong. The cigarette smoke. He's right above us. Call for backup now. This is Officer Becker. We need backup immediately. Fourth and start. Potential homicide suspect still in building. Officers are on their way. ETA 10 minutes. Copy that. Becker and I will head up the fire escape. You wait here for backup. Shit. Okay, now he's playing with us. Change of plans. Becker, secure that door. Thomas, check out the building and get these lights back on. All clear, Agent. Sooner we finish up here, the better. Let's go. Oh, and for Christ's sake, be careful.
Agent Thomas, Officer Becker. I don't know if they're on a new drug or anything. Yes. Thomas Dickinson, there's one coming your way. Addict amped up on something. I don't think I can aim. No. Federal agent, come out peacefully or I will use force. Oh my god, here's somebody behind me. Ooh. No, no, no. That's all I got. You can definitely tell this is old school because this guy's using a 45 or what looks like a 45. Nice. Safety first, put on the hat. Uh, nope. Absolutely not. Open door. Oh, that's E. Okay. All right, I think this room's clear. And I'm absolutely terrified. Wish there was a way I could aim. Wonder if I can kneecap him. Nope. Can I pick up that board? No. Uh, we only got two bullets left. Probably shouldn't have uh, tried to waste this. If you're going into this type of work, invest in a flashlight that doesn't flicker and uh, a lot more bullets and maybe a bigger gun maybe more than one gun oh god okay 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 Ugh. oh 
not fun. How do I get over there? I can't. This way? Locked. Well, where do I go? Can I fit through here? No. I lack the ability to move things. Or wait, maybe I can kick it. That's a nice front kick he's got. Although he looks like he's got like hobbit feet or something. He's got like a uh, like a golf club for a foot. But it was 2005. Well, released in 2005, so they probably made it in 04. So, uh, I'm not judging at all. Not at all. This is a pretty solid game for, you know, that time. Joke's on him, it only has two bullets in it. And I got a mean front kick. Grab conduit. This doesn't seem very police-like. Okay. Okay. Where'd he crawl through? Not only are they criminals, but they're also magicians. Oh my god. Go away. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's grab a large pipe. That's better. Two by four bolts. Negative. All right, I think we'll stick with this one. Is that is that an axe? All right, never mind. Ooh. 
gas spectrometer. Dude, I don't want to pick that up. Okay. Not very hygienic at all. Always got to check behind the doors. That's scary game 101. What's in there? Fire axe. I do not have one of those. an explosion yeah, yeah I'm fine it's just a fuse box shorted I seem to be trapped over here and I believe the suspect has my gun what how the hell did that happen <sighs> here take this fire axe and chop your way out you can always find an entry tool somewhere around to get you past barriers you can even use things like an axe or a sledgehammer as a weapon they do a great deal of damage, but they're slow. Swinging a lead pipe bus heads faster if that's what you prefer. Thanks. Yeah, you need the tips. Becker and I'll go around the other way. Try and stay in one piece. Oh, and one more thing. If you find yourself in a sticky situation, use your taser to temporarily stun your target. If you're close enough, you'll find it a great way to disarm the slug of his weapon. Nice! That uh, probably would have came in handy, I don't know, about four people ago. What door? This door? Fuck you! This guy is definitely taser material. Uh, where's he at? Ah! Stay away from me. Got him. All right, well, I, I guess he doesn't need a pipe. Ram? Let's ram him. I'm not very good at this. Leave me alone! Kind of felt bad for hitting him with an axe, but after acting up like that, I don't feel bad anymore. Uh, I'm probably gonna die. 
I guess I you know I could block that's a thing I could do yeah not doing too good the other creepy guy went down this way I'm guessing I'll run into him sometime soon but I need a health station or a kit or whatever it's called I'm not doing good ah I thought that was somebody Oh my god. Where's he at? I have no idea how I'm still alive. Oh no, I hear somebody else. Ah! Oh my god, go away! I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. I am done. You are dead. Thank you. Yes, I know that. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's hit it again. Okay, we're back here with uh, full health. I will not make the same mistake I made the first time. Okay, that's not that far. I don't know, this this first guy, just, he just tore me up. No mercy. That guy grabs a pipe. And then scary guys come from this way. I'll get him in the doorway, I'll funnel him in. How long is this axe? Like, I have to be practically in their face for him to hit him. Reach. Alright, well, there's another guy that came. Unless I have to be further up. Well, I see him. You're not very good at hiding. Now is he coming? No. Okay. I I don't know where that other guy came from last time, unless it was him. It could be, very well could be. I'm I'm lost in the sauce over here, so I uh, kind of liked it better when I had my gun. Grab sledgehammer. No, that thing's awful. What is that? bird okay kind of weird we're stuffing dead birds in our pocket but I, I you know I guess that's what we do
thought I heard something. I did hear something. You hear it? Definitely somebody here. They may be up top. I don't know. Nope. There is. I seen his legs. He's coming. Hey, you run up, get done up. Maybe not. Well, I've died twice. <laughs> I'm not very good. I heard him. I think he's in this room. Got him. <laughs> so far, two by four is the best one. By one, I mean weapon. Other than the gun, but you know we don't we don't have a gun. Uh, so we've resorted to hitting people with wood. <laughs> Gotta love those 2000 sunglasses. Just beat up Blade. <gasps> oh no! How does it feel to be on this end of the gun? But listen, you bastard. Don't mess this up for us. We are both on the same path of righteousness. Thomas! <coughs> and the path takes strange the turns. Police! Drop the weapon now! Be ready for death, Agent Thomas. It shall come visiting again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to stop it there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.